Okay, here's the thing about Rust. From the moment you first spawn on the beach with nothing to your name, you're vulnerable. Just about everyone's out to get you for a quick boost to their own progression, and without a base to call your home, your start can feel pretty frantic. As a solo, this can be even scarier as there's no one to watch your back when you finally start to build, and getting ambushed then can make or break your run. But we'll get to that later. This server had wiped a day before, and I just joined, not at all ready for the epic adventure that was to take place later. For now though, I decided to head over to the outpost, one of Rust's only safe havens to get situated. It was far and I would need lots of supplies first, so I grabbed everything useful I could find along the way, ever wary for the presence of other players. Ooh, these are like far. Wait, that's no, not. Alright, we need to like get to outpost or something. Get set up here. Yeah, we basically need as much, uh, whatchamacallit as we can, cloth. Oh, I'm near dome. I gotta watch it. I was wondering why there was random barrels. Oh my god, there's so many bases. This is so scary. Oh, fucking wolf, dude. Actually, he's running away. I can probably get around him. Trying to stay on the... Oh. Trying to stay on the low ground here. If that bear gets on me, I'm probably dead. Still not enough cloth for a sleeping bag. I was going to uh, suggest to the devs that uh, they make cloth populate in these random, like, barrels and shit sometimes. Or, like, in the boxes. Because it's so integral to the early game. A lot of times as a noob you struggle to get it. Let's try to get some, some, some stuff going here. We're in the safe zone. We should definitely recycle a lot of this to try to get enough cloth for like a sleeping bag and all that. I'm so lucky I found this paddle actually, not gonna lie. You can use it in the safe zone, as you can see. It had taken me a while to get to Outpost, and I spent a bit longer here farming barrels, recycling, buying wood and stone with the scrap I made, and getting the tool cupboard, a door, and locks ready to build my base. As evening fell, I left the safety of the Outpost to build a 2 by one starter base in the middle of the night, hoping this would draw less attention than it might during the day. Wait, now it's like too dark to build, though. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to fucking see anything. Alright, I'm just gonna go for it, whatever. Why can't I build here? Not too close to Alpha. That'd be what it is. Build here. I'm so slow. Don't judge me. Doing the best I can. <laughs> Come on. Can fucking see, man. It's a trick. No! Might be sealed. Nope, I'm not. We're dead. I don't have a door, I'm building the door. Suck a dick. Oh, fuck, that's scary. I think I got it.
Our base was built, though it had one wooden roof and no roof over the airlock, leaving it far from secure. However, it was enough to keep these guys out for now. But they were geared, and I'd obviously angered them by building here. TC locked. Oh my god, Chad, dude, my heart is beating, dude. Holy. I don't have enough stone for that section of the roof, though. It's wicked sketchy. Let's do a double door and a wood lock. It's not gonna be like all that strong. They, I mean, if they have supplies to raid me, they're gonna raid me. Don't get me wrong, but would a penis coming for you like that? <laughs> I mean, he doesn't know I'm a noob, but still, it's not nice. I agree. Place a furnace. I'm worried about there. I have one ceiling that is wood and then the ceiling in my airlock is not there because he kept shooting it out. So my airlock isn't really an airlock. I'll show you. Yeah, see, there's nothing there. But um, this, when this, when this rainbow door is open, you can't walk through this one. I'm pretty sure. So I'm worried they'll come in right here, or they'll just jump in there. That way I can see at least. Let's make a box. Oh my god, that guy almost got us, chat. That was so close, man. All right, we need a bag in here too. I need to go back to outpost. Whether or not he kills me, I need to go back to outpost. Now we can respawn here if he kills us or if someone kills us. I'm a little worried about not having like a roof on my airlock, but it is an airlock after all. So like even if they're door camping, oh he is. A bitch. so bad oh no <laughs> if he camped my base dude oh no I, that's fine whatever man at least we got a base down holy imagine being good at rust yeah i'd have to imagine to get there <laughs> dude i hit that guy twice too he's hazzy and uh whatchamacallit custom camping my fucking door <laughs> we still crushed him i mean we lost but not gonna pretend something different happened. Man, I think if I had made just one more of those shots, that's okay though. As a solo just starting out, I would need every little item I could find to recycle, so I continued to grab everything I could while on my way back toward my base. That's cool. Oh no. Fuck off. I, I kind of low key hate the hemp seeds and all that, and the worms and all that shit that just like constantly takes over your inventory. You know what I mean? Like, it's not a big deal. Hello? Oh. They're a little much, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Like, they're just sort of more annoying than useful. But I'm sure, like, I, they have a place in the game, so, like, I get it. Is this the ranch? The ranch is a safe zone, is it not? Put on the scuba goggles. Doesn't it make you see really badly? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you put on the scuba goggles. The game is scary, I yeah, know shit. Dude, that guy was so close to taking over everything we had. I mean, he did kill me and like get the crossbow and clothes. I don't really care. At least we got our starter. The question is, can he raid it while I'm gone? The best way in is, is uh, one wood roof and then one wooden double door. Whatever breaks that, but really you don't need that much. So my goal is to hurry up and get back there with some a little bit of wooden stone. Upgrade the roof and add the other roof to the airlock. My airlock doesn't have a roof. There's a guy up there. He's naked though. Hello, my good man. Oh, come on, man. I'm just- I got nothing at all, man. Yeah, that's right. Back to work. Fucking bitch. 
<laughs> He's still... My only weapon was to talk shit. That's all I had. It was the only defense I had. <laughs> Quickly, talk shit! <laughs> we have nothing else. Is there a custom camping my door? It seemed to be, so that's nice. Oh. I need to take my paddle. Let's go. I actually really need that. Back in the hole. anyway <laughs> he returns I wonder if he's my neighbor it could be technically shutting that doesn't matter much but we don't need everyone else in the neighborhood to know that this guy's gonna try to kill me because I want that propane tank honestly I kind of need wood but I just need like a basic fucking ceiling on my airlock a wooden ceiling would be fine for now this is what we've been reduced to by the way <laughs> well, I wouldn't say reduced, actually. I would say I would say I've ascended to the roadside farmer <laughs> from absolutely nothing. Oh my goodness. Oh, this takes forever, dude. You can't use the salvage axe in case anyone's wondering. Not in the safe zone anyway. <laughs> We're gonna go back uh, to the recycler soon, get another sort of half-assed start going. Try to run it back to base, and then we should be able to at least get like a basic setup. We need some food though. Use. Let's go recycle. Cause I have a lot of like trash can items on me. I can kind of condense it all into raw materials. <laughs> Three rocks. I'm gonna recycle the rocks. You guys think I'm above recycling rocks? Think again. <laughs> you think I won't recycle this torch? Think again. What is this thing? Like what? I don't even care. Just fucking recycle. I'll keep four ropes so we can make two more crossbows. Can you get food in outposts? You can make a crossbow again, right? What chicken? Can I kill this? Without getting in trouble? Y'all you got my food? Oh yeah, give me that herring. So it's naked here. I don't find him terribly threatening though. So I'm not gonna shoot him. If I shot him there, I was out of the safe zone. But was is that close enough that that the outpost would attack me anyway? I don't actually know. I think the outpost will attack you if you're near it and and have the target symbol on you, even if even if uh. You're not, like, in the safe zone. Wait, someone died in my airlock. Oh, mega lol. Trap base video? <laughs> That's a big deal. Just heard somebody again. All right, let me drop off. Keep it no room. Dude, I just got some free loot though. Like legit. <laughs> I wasn't trying to, but. Yeah, there's a guy on my roof. I can hear him. Hello, sir. Welcome to my trap base. <laughs> nice Eoka. Hello, hello. How are you, man? I was. No, no, no. I was scared. <laughs> I was shooting me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was, was the Alpo shooting at you? Yeah. No, no, no. What's, what's a guy? Oh. Well. It's hard to trust you when you're at my door with an Ioka out, not gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> I kind of want to upgrade that to stone. I'm gonna do that, just to be safe. <laughs> I want to kill this guy so bad, dude. Kill him? Alright. 
can't upgrade. Oh, so you're locked by still. <laughs> he doesn't have anything. Horse poop, dude. Let's make sure we store all the horse shit. <laughs> I want to make a double metal door. We can cook him later. Do we have any wood? Oh, yeah, we got enough to start making some more metal frags, right? Someone's outside my base yet again. How long have I played Rust? Uh, I think I have like 150 hours, so not a lot. But you know what? I'm happy with my starter two by one, okay? I planted it down while a guy was shooting at me with a custom. I accidentally trapped two people in my airlock. I'd say it's been a great start. Wait, hold on. We need a we need a goal. What's our goal? I guess we I guess our goal is just scrap. We gotta go back and get more scrap. Now we have enough upkeep that I'm not worried. To really progress in rust, you need workbenches. And to build and utilize those, you need scrap. So I set off to a nearby gas station to try and farm just that with my crossbow and newly crafted nail gun as protection. Man, some people live so fucking close to this. Alright, well, we're full. Let's go. So, what's up with that dome? I, I've seen people like climb it. Is that the point of it? You just climb it and loot at the top? Or is there a bit more to it than that? Is that kind of one dimensional? <laughs> I don't know. That was pretty good. We're gonna have to do another run and then I should be able to get tier two, I think. Man, you don't have a fat dick in your anus. Oh, thank you, man. I don't know what that guy said. He said something about fat dick and arms or something. <laughs> I was like trying to understand him. Fair enough. Can I put that back? Nice. Here, we'll move all the tools and weapons into that. And the non-tools and weapons into here. A little easier to keep up with. Oh, that's like right out where I want to go. Fucking good, but it takes so long. Fucker. That guy lives right there. Aw oh, man, come on man. Beating up on the prim. Rip. <laughs> to be fair, I also just beat up on a prim. He's trying to kill. <laughs> he just tried to <laughs> My character got up naturally. <laughs> Oh, my Yoko didn't want to go off. 
Geraldo Thompson. It was Geraldo again, and this time we confirmed not only that he was my neighbor, but that he had one or two friends living with him as well. This was going to be tough. Since I had around 450 scrap saved up in my base already, and knew I need a total of 550 to build both a tier 1 and tier 2 workbench, I set out to farm the remaining scrap for those. With workbenches up, I would be able to soon learn and craft significantly better weapons, armor, and garage doors to help protect my base as well. All I want is scrap right now. We're so close to a tier two. Those guys set me back a good bit. That's probably the guy that tried to, that almost stopped me from building right next to him. It's gotta be. He's pissed. He wants revenge. <laughs> He's pissed that he didn't stop me and that was a, now he has to deal with me living there, dude. That's gotta be pretty annoying. Honestly though, if we don't get garage door, we're probably getting raided tonight by those guys. Paddle's the best barrel schwacker though. 200 wood. Oh yeah, I can make a cross here, right? That. No shoes? Fuck no. Dude, shoes are terrible. I don't know, I think they are anyway. Am I missing something? You get like a teeny bit of protection at the expense of being louder. Seems not worth. If they made you run a little faster, that would super be worth it. Watch him walk into a bear in the darkness. Oh man. Hope not. So choose. Yet another person who has to walk into me because I'm recycling. <laughs> 150 scrap. Oh good shots right up near my base. Alright, well I can make tier 2. Took that like right in. I need- okay, let's turn these stop signs into scrap and use that to buy smoke grenades. Then use the smoke grenades to grind down into gunpowder and then I should be able to make pistol bullets with the pistol. I'm everyone who plays this game. I have to push people when I see them. Literally every single time after that video went up, when I try to recycle some random degenerate, try to push me off every time without question. They see Spoon Kid do it, they're like, oh, what has he done? I think after that video, I'm pretty sure they patched it to make it harder to do though. And that seems like nobody realizes that. Revolver. How many bullets do we want? I'm gonna make 18. Must be quiet. That's why we stay barefoot. Brain is a huge help. If they hear me, they're just gonna keep coming out and shoot my ass every time. At least we have another gun now. Make your base bigger. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's make a, um, let's make a double metal for the outside, and then I'll get a lock. At least this way, we have another small line of defense. That'll help me jump up. Craft garage door, I can't. Not yet, anyway. We're working on it, though. I guess I might as well start uh, investing and getting down here. We need 440 scrap. I think that should be the next goal. This is gonna be my get off the get off my lawn gun, though, yeah? Get the hell off my lawn. Oosh. All right, all right, we got some guns now. Getting somewhere. He's confidently door camping me, so he doesn't just have like a trash gun or something. <laughs> Can I help you, Mr. Clapper? Clappy, clappy, clappy. Well, so much for uh, expanding the base at the moment. We're not naked to check around. That's true. Okay, was not looking for. Oh! Hey, 
die, man! Scaring somebody with that thing. Holy shit. Here, you can have the sulfur. I know that's what you want. Are you my neighbor? Right over there. Hello. Are you the guy that tried to kill me when I was building the base at night? Like a few hours ago? <laughs> I thought that was you, dude. Yeah, that was close. That was very close. Well, would you like to continue feuding or would you like to have like a ceasefire and live and let live so we can both progress? Yeah? We can be friends. I'll, uh, I'll leave you guys alone. And, uh, let's go from there, you know? This is that fucking guy, by the way, Chad, the one that almost took our base. We had finally had words with Geraldo, and it seemed he and his partner were open to letting each other be, leaving me little choice but to trust them for now since I still lack the firepower to truly take them on. So I decided to continue to run to the nearby gas station to farm up scrap, not getting distracted whatsoever in the meantime until I could finally craft myself the garage doors and better gear I mentioned earlier. Just totally weird, dude. <laughs> yeah, that should do it. That last sign definitely should be enough. Let's fucking go. Let's make two garage doors. I kind of wanted to make a shotgun trap. Should I make a shotgun trap or a third garage door with my last gears chat? Let's do it. Hey guys, uh, teach me here. What, what side do you want the roller on and why? And does it matter? Is it, it's just about when you can click on the garage door, right? It doesn't actually matter protection wise. Inside. Gonna lock it. All right. Man, that's fucking cool. Oh my god, it's so much more space because the the these doors have like this this like metal frame at the top and they kinda like lock you a little bit, you know? That one I'm gonna face in because uh I'll be able to access it better. If I'm getting raided, I can reach up and touch that that yellow piece very easily. So we have a frame here too. I definitely want more garage doors, but I can't uh, make them until I find more gears. Which I would have if I didn't uh, break them all down earlier. Although to be fair, I wouldn't be able to afford garage door yet. So where does this go? If somebody actually comes in the base. We want it like here. place a tile with the shotgun trap underneath. Yeah, yeah. You mean like if I had a half floor right here? See, someone was suggesting that instead of the furnace. And then assuming they're walking on the floor and they fall down right here, the shotgun trap would be right behind them. So I think you go half, then full, like that. And blow that up. Is this what you guys mean? Like one of these? Oh, I can get on it. I thought I couldn't. Yeah, and we could put it like a box or two. I might as well put it back up, cause it, I can't put a box on this fucking, like this piece of hill right here anyway. So maybe it makes sense for the shoddy trap to be there. Okay. That's pretty good, I think. Unless you can see the tip of the barrel, can you? Nope. Hello, free loot in here! <laughs> Just get some random guy to come in. <laughs> Definitely not a trap! Alright, I like this setup. This is cool. How do you guys feel like we did on day one, overall? We had somebody literally raiding me as I was placing the base and we, we barely survived. That was actually pretty epic, not gonna lie. We got a lucky piece of shit still, we still got room for that. Should I upgrade the core? It's gonna make people wanna raid me though, right? It's not honeycomb, but I can't because right here, this wall leads to a... A mountain side. After doing some final upgrades for the day, I decided to log off for now, hoping my recent treaty with the duo next door would hold up. Not rated, but I don't know what this fucking text is doing there. Okay. Well, at least this part's not rated. Let's see if they like punched the door out or something. No, we're good. Is rust fun? Uh. 
the eye of the beholder, I suppose. I definitely just heard somebody jump. Dude, I've been on the server for one second, man. Can I help you? Wait, are you my neighbor that lives right there? All right, I'm coming over. I trust you. You didn't talk yesterday. Oh, is this your friend? Hopefully. Okay, cool. Yo, what's up, other guy? How are you guys today? Hey, thanks for not raiding me. I really appreciate that. <laughs> Do you know the closest place where I can use a green card? I've never done a monument before, but I wanted to try it. I got a fuse and a green card. Blue it will be like water treat. Uh, I just have green. Is there? Can you is can you use green at the I, dome or at this one over here at, at uh, 15 over there? Blue. Oh, that one's only for blue. Dome, you don't need any cards. Oh, okay. Dome, uh, you just climb it, right? Protection. Oh man, you don't have to give me all that stuff. <laughs> That's nice of you. I never even tried a Tommy before. Oh man. So these are the keys I need to do water treatment? No, if you will need some Oh it's okay. We'll probably we'll probably just go do a little farming and stuff. I'm just here to chill and check out the game a little bit, so I appreciate the Thompson. I never got to try this gun before. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. Thank you guys, thank you. You guys are wicked cool, man. They could have fucking- these guys definitely could have raided me yesterday. <laughs> Don't bring red to water. It's just blue. Oh, green and blue. Alright, so get rid of that. And then I want that. I don't I need- I need one of these, right? I need this fuse. So you must need to do one card and then the other, right? Or some shit. Green is the shittiest one, I know that. And so, despite our tough beginning with door camping and almost taking over my whole base, these new neighbors turned out to be pretty cool guys so far, but our story with them was really just getting started here. For now, I took my newly gifted Thompson along with the appropriate key cards over to water treatment to try and do my first monument. I had been to smaller ones before, like gas station and mining outpost, but nothing where you actually needed to do much of anything or use key cards. Oh, I hate this crosshair, it's so disgusting. So do I go up here? Just do anything? Walking upstairs in this game is kind of horrible. Okay, so there's like nothing up there. It's kind of nice. Fuse box in the building and then follow the wire. Go to a garage door with a bell. Crate there, I guess I'll go get it. Man, there's a lot of angles in here. This is actually kind of sketch. That's the point though, right? They want to try to encourage PvP. That looks like exactly what you're talking about. I also am not experienced enough to like be able to tell if someone's been here recently, but I suppose seeing a crate up there is a good sign. You know what I mean? Oh, I gotta hold it? Does that make sense? That's scary, I hate that. <laughs> oh, wow. What the fuck? There's so much loot in here. Hello? Oh my god. Is there a recycler? Oh, okay. Another fuse. But now I don't know where to go. Wait, follow the power line? Oh, I tried to hug the building. I thought that was a player. Is this where you wanted me to go? There's a recycler. That's not it. Maybe like up here? Oh! Yeah! 
Like this. Hello? Did I do it wrong? Oh, did my fuse already go out? That's wild, dude. Okay, so you really need to, like, hurry the fuck up. Got it. Good to know. Well, now I know where it is, so I can do it really quick this time. Oh, you can get locked in, really? It's still there! You guys trolling me! <laughs> Alright, whatever. Figure it out. Oh, that's sick, man. Another fuse. So do I need to like hurry up before my fuse goes out? A bed! Wait, it just says shut. Am I screwed? There should be a red card in here. Good? How do you get out? Just hit the button. Hit switch in red card room to get out. Oh. Fucking sweet. Hey, thanks guys. What do I do with this red card then? It doesn't go here? It's for another monument or what? I think it's for... I know the cards like go to multiple monuments. I know it's not like for one specific, but like... Like is there specific one or two monuments that I use it? Oil rig? Man, that is a fucking fast scrap. Hold. Oh. Hello, my friends! Hello, hello. Nice wall. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> this is, dude, this thing is pretty scuffed. Holy shit. What is this one right here? Did he have to place that? Oh, he might have had to. He might have had to like fill a gap right there. Hey, we did a monument. I'm sure chat told me exactly what to do, but still. Technically, we did a monument. That's kind of sick. Now we got a hazzy. Bed's nice too. We should uh, maybe expand the base a little today and, and uh, make a place for this. Only 1500 scrap to get to the hollow. Amazing. Where's the uh, little improvised site? Is that on the tier one workbench? It might be. Does this look like shit? Oh, that's better. It is, it is kind of shit, but it's better. It's way better. I like your wall. You did a good job. Hey, I did the I did the water treatment, the blue card puzzle. That was pretty cool. What should we go do next? Let's just go to the fucking gas station, I guess. Whatever. Get another green card. See if the uh, military crate respawn. That's cool that my neighbors are nice. Those guys could shut me down at this point. They're pretty strong. Just get a quick mailbox for the room. God, I need gear so bad. Guy in a horse over there. Shit, I don't have a flashlight. Now all these fucking animals. Scary. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Trying to get around my base off memory alone. I can't see! Why is this game so fucking dark? It makes no sense. I literally have no source of light on me at all. Whatever. I will fucking kill myself and respawn on my own base just so I can fucking see. 
Jesus. Okay. Oh, I almost made it. <laughs> that's, that's such a major gripe I've seen with this game. Like the nighttime just being impossible without like a flashlight. Speaking of which. Can we make them? Oh my god, you have to unlock it. That's super stupid. Workbench level one. Oh, wait, so I can't research it either. Well, actually, I have a workbench though. Let's just go put it down. It's actually lighting up over here. Just to be able to see. Combat knife's pretty good though. I don't want the binoculars though. It's a lot of work to be able to see in this game. Oh my god, that's so much better, Jesus. I guess if I go into gas and gas is respawned, that'll tell me that the water tree respawned. Because I did gas after. Is that good? Shrock and barrels? Should I just murder this guy? Yeah, I know. He, I was thinking he's not going to hear me because of the helicopter. And he didn't. I don't know, there's like nothing here. Oh, that respawned, I guess. Maybe our boys. Shotgun's so cool. Oh. Son of a bitch. I saw him too. He must have like triple headshotted me or something. An unfortunate loss, but such is the way in a place like Rust. And things sometimes have a way of quickly turning around. No, dude. Fuck. I thought I had that guy for sure. I was like shotgunning the crap out of him. friendly with our neighbors. We're not allied, but we decided to stop killing each other because it wasn't very productive. I almost like don't even want to pick up hemp sometimes because I still want all the stupid fucking worms and shit. Plus like we already have like 4,000 cloth and I'm just a solo. <laughs> it's like, am I ever going to use it all anyway? 
Should I just roam around and like look for decaying bases like that? <laughs> that one decays literally a TC on a fucking platform. Some stone. I haven't been back here at all. This base is falling down or something. Is it rated? This guy's got a big furnace too. A stash over here. What the fuck? Is the TC in here? That's the airlock. Well, if that's the airlock, though. Yeah, this is probably the TC, right? I mean, it's just a wood base, though. If I raid it, I get wood, probably. The Revy's bad? Well, I know the Revy's bad. It's like one of the only guns I have access to build, though. <laughs> Got him three times. Not chasing that so far. Ooh. I wonder if someone just finishes that off. Huh? Fuck the worms. Well, the advantage of the suppressor was clear right there. That guy didn't know where I was at first. Hello, my friends. I just like to announce myself when I'm here so they don't fucking shoot me. <laughs> All right, what's what's the deal with the suppressor? Oh, you lose 25% damage. Uh, puts it back on anyway. Hello, my friends. I just say that every fucking time. Every time I hear someone up top. Hello, my friends. <laughs> Crossbow ready would be better instead of the DB. Oh, and then take the suppressor off in that case, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Oh wow, they got two furnaces going now. Huh? It was clear my neighbors were cooking something up both figuratively and literally, so I made a mental note to talk to them soon to find out what. Oh, hey. You scared me. <laughs> I didn't see you at first. How's it going? I like your, your furnace setup. He's got a satchel on his shoulder. On his, uh, left. Uh, I said we just go into raid. Like, ah. You want some backup? I'll come with you. One base. Oh my god. Yo, I'll come with you and just try to help a little, like, protect. Yeah. Okay, okay. All I have is a shitty yeah. revolver, though, but I'll, I'll do my best. Dude, you just get some raid experience. Do I have a better gun in my base? I don't think I do. I could just have DVs and revolvers. He has a $500 mask skin. Really? That shit's $500? What the fuck? Is this it? What the hell is this thing? I think that's an outer TC. Made it into like a little base. His outer TC is a 2x2. Two two. That's how fucking rich he is. Yeah, I was gonna say, he has a satchel on his belt. Did you see it? I'm gonna do my best to help them. I really just kind of want to see the raid. I don't really care. I don't want any loot. I don't, I mean, I wouldn't deserve any. It's all their explosives. Hello. His friend was already waiting. I didn't know who they were about to raid and I didn't care. I just wanted the experience, but everything you do in Rust carries consequences. Yo, that's so fucking cool, man. <laughs> Look at this shit. Oh, sh <laughs> man, the rockets in this game are so sick. Okay. These guys have definitely raided a timer too. Nice. I'll keep an eye out, boys. If I say a number, that's the compass direction where I see somebody, okay? Yo, these guys got in so quick, man. They definitely could have raided me so easily. Oh, man. Hey, take, take this off. It's you. <laughs> you guys got all you wanted already? Oh, thank you. Does he mean take the base? Do we need, like, world bench? <laughs> yes. 
you get up there? Oh wow. In this quick raid, I was just a vulture grabbing the remains, but I had no idea the mess we were about to get in later. For now, I headed back to base though and continued about my business, farming supplies and attempting to run nearby monuments. Dude, they raided this so fast. What the fuck, man? They're just like, bash, bash, bash. All right, take whatever you want. Bye. It's like, okay, thanks. Oh, I'm all about those though. Thank you, my friends. Hey, bro. What's up? Hold on, let's drop all this shit off. What the fuck that guy's talking about? Are you in need of assistance, sir? I live, I live nearby. Please don't kill me. Okay. I don't understand you. <laughs> Moi home. Okay, good luck. <laughs> I don't understand you. <laughs> I love that he Google translated to me. <laughs> He's just saying like, hey, please don't fucking kill me. Gotcha. Let's go do another key card. That was kind of fun. We still have my lucky piece of shit in here too. Give it here. Oh, I got stuck. I wasn't expecting that. It's nice. That's not a good sign. What do you guys think? Should I run it anyway? I didn't come here to sit around doing nothing, did I? But yes, the lack of crates is disturbing. Oh, it's open. It's not looted though. Or like it is, but he they respawn. Weird. Super sketchy, man. This is definitely looted like ultra recently. Also, apparently you don't need a green key card here, do you? Because you just go valve and then fuse blue, right? So you don't, yeah, you don't need the green key card here. I brought that for nothing. That's the base those guys raided earlier. They, they let me have the remains of this base right here. What the? F I just like despawned while I was farming it. A new paddle. Let's go, dude. Not as much scrap from that as I thought. So I want to um, expand the outside and honeycomb this uh, with stone, and then um, make a better fucking jump around spot. And then we will uh, HQM the core. Then it should be pretty strong. But right now it's not really that strong. So I wanted to have a lookout here. In here, I should have one here too, actually. I can just do them all like that, I don't even care. I do need to like, honeycomb this. Hello. Are you my neighbor? Ooh. Oh, hello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Hey, do you guys want some uh, some crude oil for your helicopter? Oh no. Do you think my base is super cool? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so hard to place this shit. Oh, I had it. The fuck what is that? Freestyle, baby! <laughs> this is actually pretty much what I was envisioning. <laughs> Sorry, Chaz, this is gonna be sick, okay? This was gonna go right here. Oh, I should've faced- well, I faced it this way because I get more room. It looks backwards, but it, on those it doesn't make any difference. Why not? So that's technically sort of secure, but I mean, I don't have any windows in yet. I actually do need one more window, just realized, because the airlock. Alright, technically secure. 
But yeah, I don't think it lets me flip this. There's nothing I can do. But it doesn't matter. You can use both sides and it doesn't have a soft side. It looks like one though. But the nice thing about doing it this way is the chute is facing out. So it doesn't, I can walk along the wall smoothly. Put the roller inside on that one. All right, let's go, let's just go to dumb. Who cares? That's right there. I was going to say, I was about to look at the map <laughs> to see where it is. It's me, boys. Hello. Wait, did you guys say you don't want any uh, fuel and oil and shit? I can give you a whole bunch. I'm not going to use it. I can, uh, I can give you some sulfur if you guys are doing another raid and I'll tag along with you. Let me see how much sulfur I have. I'll be right back. I'll bring it over. As you build toward the later part of a rust wipe, sulfur tends to become the most valuable overall resource. But I didn't feel like I had enough to make anywhere near the impact these guys already could, so I decided to further invest in our friendship by giving them all of mine. What's the worst that could happen? Hello, sir. You can come in. Oh. <laughs> Hey, thank you, man. Thanks. Hopefully that helps a little bit. I'll give you some more when I get it. What the fuck? I farmed up a bit more through the night, collecting sulfur for the raid and scrap and materials for myself. When the new day began, we set out to our next target. I got a little bit of sulfur for you. It's, uh, I put, I put it in your airlock right here. Yeah, 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 right there on the ground. Man, look at you, beefy boy. <laughs> I'll just, I'll just keep look out. It's, it's nice of them to let me tag along. I mean, they obviously don't fucking have to. <laughs> I could just be like, no, <laughs> like, fuck off, you know? <laughs> They're just roam raiding. At this point, they don't even have a target in mind. Just running around with a rocket launcher looking for something to blast. I'm good at keeping my head on a swivel chat. Yeah, they're gonna raid this. They're really scouting it hard. With the ice pick, if you don't hit the spark, it's faster? Really? On the first hit? Dude, that's so cool. Is it metal? Not oh, stone. Jesus Christ. Locker. Two garage doors. It's gonna take a little bit more oomph to get through. Got nothing to help them, really. Just an extra pair of eyes and a decent rifle. I like it though, it's pretty cool. It reminds me of the M1A, and well, in general. I was gonna say in Targa, but in general. It's probably a loosely inspired by something like that, because the irons are very similar. Dude, you're right, it is faster. You don't hit the spark on the first hit. Car at 60. Yo, boy's car. 90. They're looking for us, I think. I'm surprised they didn't see me. Headshot. Nice. I don't have heal. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> oh, that's a C4, right? Fucking badass, dude. Ooh, Ooh piece of candy. Dude, I love the handmade set. I like it on this gun. I headshot that guy from so far away with it. 
Come on, man. Oh, they secured it. Well done, boys. Come in, come in. Come in, come in, come in. Seven, 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 seven. Oh. Car. Another guy. Guess you can shoot through that. Hello! It's not good. Oh, wow. I can kill him. Good job. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry I shot you. <laughs> Naked. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> Elmer. It's like Elmer's stuff. Yo, look at his body, holy shit. <laughs> He's got three bullet holes in his fucking head, dude. Oh no. <laughs> See if there's anything we want before we vacate. And anything that gives me scrap, I'm pretty into. We should also make a bag in here, right? If there's any cloth. Oh, this cloth. Sweet. All right. Awesome. Let's call it rated. Chad, I feel good about that one because I actually did save uh, that Ricky guy from the custom. And I, I headshot that guy who was far away and he dipped. I don't know how relevant that ended up being. Probably kind of. Hooray! We should put another... If I'm going to put loot in here, then we should put another door frame. Like a garage door there. I don't know how easy it would be to just punch these windows out, though. How strong are these, chat? Are they, like, as strong as the stone wall that they're in? I'm not gonna put like really great stuff up here anyway, so I'm not super duper worried about it. I'm probably just gonna put like my extra random garbage up here and put all the move all the good shit down to the core, because right now my core has like a bunch of stupid ass like half primitive loot. Oh, I could put my bed up here. That'd be huge. Just do that. We need more stone too, actually. I guess I'll take my lucky piece of shit out for now. Bed, yes. Should I help them with a diamond? I kinda want to. Fuck it, dude. base is trashed, bro.
Hold on, let me get my shit back real quick. My Tommy, no. <laughs> Dude, that thing is wild, man. What was that fire right here? Wait, that's not it. Hello. Hello. Dude, this is fucking weird. What the fuck? Oh, I didn't get him, though. Did you guys get it? Here, sir. Here, do you, do you take this. I don't. I have no use for it. <laughs> I can't use those. You were quick, dude. Uh, I have no fucking use for it. Oh, this ammo is better long range. This ammunition travels faster and less draw. And this one is in the area. So this would be good for popping like wooden bases, right? Or tool cupboards. After that strange encounter at Outpost, we heard a raid off in the distance and went to check it out. <gasps> Did the Outpost kill him? <laughs> the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wait, because what? Tried to kill you. <laughs> Stupid bear. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. We gotta be careful the outpost doesn't kill us. Do you guys need some meds? I fucked that guy up pretty good. I hit him twice, I think. Two or three times. The last hit was like he was already down. That was just to finish him. That doesn't count. But. <laughs> That's cool. We got to mow somebody down anyway. Luckily he was focused on this other guy though, I mean it's kinda easy for me to just shoot him because he wasn't even shooting at me. Plus base got fucking ravaged, look at this thing. This... Oh wait. Oh they're raiding it right now with jackhammers. I bet they he confirmed on Discord. Since we were exposed by all the shooting, we decided to quickly head back to our respective bases to gather more supplies and regroup before trying to breach this recent raid. I kind of want to grab the other gun, the M39. You know? Yeah, they're definitely gonna be expecting us. Go build crate. 
Can't help myself, chat. Plank right a little. So we're just like bundling in together. Shooting bitch! Hello. Let's see if they're at the employees. Good job, dude. I was looking for the window flank. They never went up there, though. There's another. Okay, okay, okay. I killed him. I didn't loot anything yet. Let's grab it quick. It wasn't long ago that Geraldo was door camping me, and now I was healing him after clutching up the last kill in this raid so far. Funny how things turn out sometimes. I learned yesterday that you can heal him. It's me, it's me. Okay, okay, okay. Yo, I got the last guy, chat. Let's fucking go. Yeah, it'll be all right. I, I could have looted a little better for sure. Maybe I'll go back. I'm not sure if I saved that raid or not. Those two guys both died and I killed the last guy, but the last guy was starting to loot, but he didn't have a kit yet. He was still like primitive crossbow, but he was just about to pick up the SMGs and shit. But it's, it's arguable if I saved the raid because they ran back naked, so they might not have been able to kill him. I'm going to take partial credit. <laughs> for, for, the, for the raid outcome. I definitely saved the raid. Dude, it was really close, man. Where's my semi? Let's put that away. That thing was good. I like that. I like that guy. <laughs> I smelled up more. What should we do? Just go do the blue card? What's up, dude? What's up? Good What's job. Up? Good job. That raid went pretty well, I think. Are you guys proud of me? I killed the last guy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know I was back there healing. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try to go do water treatment just cause. So if you hear an MP5 over there, that's me. I did do water treatment again and a lot more farming for blueprints to use in a future wipe. When I was done for the evening, knowing I wouldn't log back onto this server again before the weekly wipe, I decided to take my best stuff into outpost, hoping to find a noob to bestow our great boon of loot upon. Hello, man. Thank you! <laughs> this guy's like, holy shit! Chat, this is my time. How do I fly this? What button do you press? Hey, hey, hey! Shit's fucking ridiculous. I don't know how to fly this, by the way. I'm sure you want to get in? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> 